In terms of my own pathway, I was an atheist when I was a graduate student studying quantum mechanics. I decided to go to medical school because life science was getting more interesting than what I was doing at the time for my hopes of being able to contribute something. And for the first couple of years of medical school, I maintained my atheist perspective, feeling that there was really nothing worth examining that couldn't be examined by science. And then in my third year as a medical student, where I was now placed at the bedside of people who were suffering with terrible illnesses that I knew we probably weren't going to be able to cure, I had to really start to wrestle with these big questions like, why am I here? What is the meaning of life? Is there a God? Does God care about me? What happens after you die? And in a particularly seminal moment, an elderly woman who was my patient shared her faith with me and then unexpectedly turned to me and said, you haven't said anything about what you believe. What do you believe, doctor? Just those four words, what do you believe? How many people around you, if you asked them that question, would have a confident answer? Well, maybe many would, but I sure didn't. And it was incredibly disturbing to realize that I had not really spent the kind of time that would be necessary to answer probably the most important question that I'd ever been asked. And over a two-year period of much struggle trying to shore up my atheism, <laughs> to my surprise, I found that atheism was the least rational of all the choices, the assertion of a universal negative, which scientists aren't supposed to do. And agnosticism ended up feeling like kind of a cop-out, like I don't want to go too far down this road. And ultimately, with a lot of help from C.S. Lewis and beginning to understand what the words of the Bible were all about, I began to see that actually, for me, the most rational choice was going to be to become a believer in God. But then what kind of God would that be? I had to survey the world's religions and try to figure out what they said, and they had a lot in common. But one thing that Christianity stood out in a way that solved a huge problem for me was the person of Jesus. Because I had become aware that God probably was out there and God probably cared about me and I was a million miles away from being in a place where I felt I could have relationship or even approach the holiness of God. I needed some kind of way to bridge that gap. And you know what that way turned out to be, Jesus Christ. And so I fell on my knees in my 27th year uh, in a dewy grass on an early morning in the Cascades of the Northwest, and I gave my life to Christ. And that was 46 years ago. Now people say...